Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am going to try to do a plan with me. Um, this is my first one that I'm trying to film from my parents' house. I can see I have a lot of shadows, so I'll have to figure that out. Um, and I don't have my planner updated at all from this previous week, so I'm not really going to even like spend any time on that. Um, but we're planning the week of Cyber Monday, which is November 30th, and then into the first week of December. I have this very like shopping themed kit, which I thought was hilarious because there's no people um, in anything, which is like, like 2020 pandemic, like social distancing shopping, shop online people. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just thought it was really funny. This is from Glam Planner, um, and it's very bright, and I decided I didn't really want to use it in my, I, I was originally going to use it in my weekly planner, like my, uh, memory keeper life planner. That's what it's called. <laughs> but I decided that I was going to use it in this planner instead. Um, and I'm just going to do a speed through. So I apologize that I'm not really going to talk. Um, I don't have a ton of time um, right now. Look at this, the empty mall. I think it's so funny. Um, but I'm just going to try to film this right now. I don't really even know what my plans are. Um, I'm just going to at least try to get the base down and get this started. Um, so yeah, I don't even have my tools out or anything. Like I'm not going to be able to finish the washi or anything. It's going to be a hot mess right now. I'll probably have to come back and finish another day or another time. Um, maybe later tonight, but we'll start and, um, you know, see how far I can get at least take advantage of the time that I have right now um, before I eat some turkey because it is Thanksgiving when I'm filming right now and I hope you guys are doing well and have had a safe um, and happy holiday and have been able to spend some time with family. Um, I hope you're, I hope you're not separated. I've been very lucky that I've been able to come home. I know travel during this time has not been like, you know, suggested or recommended or anything, but, um, and I'm not like trying to make excuses or anything. I just was able to come home for six weeks. So, um, and I haven't been with anybody before coming home and my parents haven't been with anybody. So, um, you know, I was able to spend one night at a hotel. Basically the only place I went to on the way was stopping at gas stations. I stopped at one rest area, which was a little scary because <laughs> I was the only person, um, like it said you had to wear masks, but because nobody was enforcing it, like they do at like a gas station, I guess, where there's like employees. Um, I realized it when I came back out of the rest area, like I really had to go to the bathroom and then I came back out and I was like, I was the only person wearing a mask in that whole place, like the only one inside or outside. Um, but it was in Iowa and apparently Iowa had been very not like they didn't have a mask rule at all. And that was very recent. So my parents weren't shocked at all by that. And I was like, excuse me, what? <laughs> um, so that was a little shocking to me, but, um, yeah, so that was that was a little wild, not gonna lie. Um but I don't know. So the gas stations and stuff were fine. Um my hotel was incredibly clean and even better than like when I stayed in hotels this summer. Um when I was traveling. I'll put the other half on this side. I'm just trying to figure out where I want everything. Um, but I have to trim the other half, so I'm just, just getting a feel for things. <laughs> um, but yeah, my hotel was very, very clean. Um, so I stayed in one hotel. I packed my food. I did end up going to Starbucks and I picked up some food at one place. Um, but like just take out, like drive through. Um, but that's it. Um, because I didn't have enough food <laughs> apparently. Um, but other than that, like yeah, everything was grand. Um, so I don't know. It was easy peasy. And like I said, I'll be at my parents' house for six weeks, not 
seen anyone um, like my brother and my niece aren't coming over or anything like that for the holidays. Um, we might try to do like a social distance Christmas or something like that where like we can at least watch my niece open presents. I'm not really sure um, how or anything, but we're hoping to at least see her um, and like be able to give her gifts and stuff like that. But I'm not sure how we'll figure that out later. Um, that's not for a while. So, um, yeah, we'll figure it out though. Um, but that's later down the road and it's not us so much as them because he's divorced so she goes back and forth and then he has a girlfriend and then she's divorced and has two kids that also go back and forth and it's a whole thing and then schools weren't closed and stuff so um it's just been a little bit crazy with <laughs> like that whole situation so um yeah it's just been a lot more on their side than like my parents and stuff so we're just navigating as we go um but like with my parents and I, it's not really been a concern because like I said, we're, we're all not going anywhere. So I hadn't been, been going anywhere and they haven't been going anywhere. Um, I had really just only been going to Pilates. So yeah, it's not been a big stressor. I felt like I was able to travel um, pretty comfortably as far as not putting other people at risk, um, and being able to, um, get here safely and not put them at risk once I was here. So, yeah, just doing our best to, oops, I'm going to need to put washi there, aren't I? Um, to make it work and... Like I said, be here for six weeks, and then if I need to quarantine once I get back to Colorado, like, I'm working from home, so, again, not a big deal once I get back, so, um, I mean, it's a big deal. I'm taking it very seriously, obviously, but, um, just not, other people aren't affected, so we're making it work for us, so I apologize if it stressed you out that I was traveling, um, <laughs> I, I definitely do, but please know I'm, I'm very very concerned about the pandemic and making sure that people are safe and um all of that kind of thing so there is that information for you should you need it or want it um I don't know where I'm putting everything there are so many boxes and I want to use all of them I want this double scene I think on Tuesday so I want to save room for it um but I think I want to trim the middle out so it stays completely flush and I just don't know where to put everything so I'm gonna need washi down here so yeah there's just there's a lot there's a lot of boxes I'm back and I did a lot off camera because I just had to get my life together. <laughs> um, so I apologize, but it's my first video at my parents' house and like I said, I'm just getting my life together. It is three days later, two days later, I don't even know. It's, yeah, I don't know. Let's go back. <laughs> I filled out a lot more of this spread too, so... Um, 
I don't know. I still need to put things up here. But I filled out who I talked to on the phone while I was driving, where I was driving. It was rainy, foggy. I turned my, like, headlights on and my wipers on, like, when I left Omaha. Pretty much they stayed on until I got to Wisconsin. We had tacos for dinner. Went to Starbucks. <laughs> um... I had to go to the doctor's office twice before I could leave on Monday. I didn't leave till like afternoon, like 12.15ish on Monday. So I didn't get to my hotel until like 9.45 p.m. Monday. Oh, it was kind of rough, but I made it. It was okay. <laughs> um, definitely slept in on Tuesday. I ordered from Ulta, Glam Planner, and Cress Press on Wednesday. Um, little crazy. Uh, I started my metformin, my like titrating up on Wednesday. I didn't want to titrate up on Monday and Tuesday because I was driving in case it made me sick. So did that here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I unpacked. I was pretty chill Wednesday. I was pretty tired. I did go online and do some work to let the kids like keep moving forward. Thursday was Thanksgiving. It was my first Thanksgiving home in 15 years and I'm healthy. Like so much to be grateful for despite the crazy, crazy year and all of the other things I've had going on this year. Um, I'm still really grateful for a lot of things this year. So, um, this must've been when I was trying to film. So, wow. Was that only? No. What? I think that was Wednesday. I don't know. I'm confused, you guys. Because today's only Friday. I think. Yeah. Today's only Friday. I think that was Wednesday. I don't know. We watched whatever that dog competition is. <laughs> I drank a whole bottle of wine. I was going to put Nikon there. And then I was looking at Black Friday sales, getting my plan a little bit together. It never quite goes as I plan because, like, I'm never quite sure what I'm going to get or what I want. So, like, I looked at some shops like Letters to Apollo, Peach Palm, um, I don't know, a bunch of other shops that, like, I thought I was going to shop at. And then I'm like, they don't really have, like, Peach Palm I was just looking at. But Letters to Apollo, I kind of wanted more of her, like... $2 Tuesday type sheets, but she doesn't have those. So I was kind of like, I don't really need the other stuff she has in her shop. So I don't know, which is fine. It's totally fine. Today I slept in, I worked, I tried to transfer photos to a USB from my old laptop, but it's, I think there's something wrong with the USB. Um, it's just really frustrating. I wrapped my first Christmas presents this day. Very exciting. I'm filming. I watched some sort of dog show again with my parents. It has Lindsay Vaughn in it. I don't know what it's called, but we watched that. Definitely did some shopping. <laughs> um, but otherwise, just kind of chilled out. Got the mail. Didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're going to... Not my brother's house, but his girlfriend's house. Um... Her kids are actually in quarantine with their dad because they have, all three of them have COVID, her kids and her ex. So she hasn't been around her kids. So like the bubble is smaller. Um, and then my niece is at her mom's house. So it's just my brother and his girlfriend, my parents and my myself. So we will socially distance outside at like a fire pit at her house um so we're just gonna go over there drop off my niece's christmas presents in case we don't get to see them again and we'll get to see her um amanda for a little while at least and hang out because it's supposed to be nice out tomorrow so we will do that in case we don't get to see them again over the holidays because you never know what's going to happen. Um, so that's going to be nice. Um, and then Packer game. So this is 
the coming weekend. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so Monday is Cyber Monday, week 12 remote learning. It's going to be really, really weird working from home. Um, I still can't wrap my head around the fact that, like, I have to get up and, like, live my normal life at my parents' house. It's very weird. I'm, like, not myself when I'm here. It's, ugh, I don't know. It's going to be very odd. Um, I'm planning on getting, I think Glam Planner and Scribble Prince Co. have a Cyber Monday mystery kit. So I think I'm going to get both of those, but I'm not sure if anybody else is doing like that I'm interested in is having Cyber Monday stuff. So I put a question on my Insta stories, but by the time you see this, it'll be long gone. <laughs> I'll do my statistics. Um, I put a, I got this countdown um, in gold foil from Planning Roses last year in her advent calendar. And I love the like block with the script font. So I put those every day in the thing up here. I might put a character also, but we'll see. I have a bill due. Well, I have a lot of bills due. Um, I did my Hello December. I just put Deco at the top. So I have my statistics and then I'll do my goals on the first. And then Wednesday, so see, I put that. Wednesday, I have to work late. It wouldn't be working. Well, yeah, it would be working after hours, even if I was in Colorado. But here it's like working till like five because I'm an hour later in central time. So I have a reevaluation meeting for a SPED student after work on Wednesday. Otherwise, just a work day. Laundry, maybe Thursday <laughs> planning. Otherwise, just a work day. Um, Friday, we have a staff meeting, work day, filming, editing, uploading, Packer game. Normal weekend? I have no idea. I don't know what any of our plans are. I don't know that we have any plans. <laughs> um, but I always, you know, get up to something with my parents and that's, that's what we've got going on. I use tons of boxes. Again, I put deco by all of the date covers and I think it is super, super cute. I put headers above all of the boxes except for this one because I've put a flag and it doesn't really need it. Um, it's like huge, so it's fine. Um... And I tucked in the countdown here. Um, but I think it's super cute. So, yeah, I hope you... And I put the extra piece of washi. Because I don't think I did that on camera either. So I apologize that I did so much off camera. Again, just getting my life together. Figuring this out. I will get better as we go. If I can even get this uploaded. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep trying. Um... I've definitely, like, edited and uploaded on this computer before, but it's so old that it just doesn't like to work <laughs> very well anymore. So that's that's the biggest concern. It's not, like, the filming part of it. It's can I get it edited and uploaded and on my parents' internet that <laughs> we live in, like, the middle of nowhere. So the internet is pretty spotty. So... That's the goal. I also hope you can hear me because my parents are sleeping. So, yeah. Thank you guys for sticking with me through this all. <laughs> I am trying my best. I hope you guys had a good Black Friday, a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you were able to either be with family or friends or Zoom with them or whatever you were able to do to not be alone. Um, if you are feeling alone, please hit up my Instagram DMs. I talk with a lot of you guys all the time. Um, and please don't be shy. Like, just hit me up and send me a message. I love talking to you guys. Just say hey. Um, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. I, I'm happy to talk to you guys. So, if you're feeling alone, just send me a message or leave a message down below and I'll respond to you. I respond to all of the messages down below. So, um, or at least if they're not like spammy. <laughs> 
So, um, please don't be afraid to reach out and just, you know, it doesn't have to be anything major. You can just say hi. So, um, yeah, I, I want to have community here. That's why I started my YouTube channel is having, you know, friends within the planner community. So please, please, I don't want you feeling alone or like you aren't part of this community and yeah, I, it's a hard time and it's been a rough year for everybody. So if you're needing some love, <laughs> I've got some love for you. So, um, yeah, either join me on Instagram, message me over there, leave a message down below, or just take this love with you and just know that I'm thinking about you and I hope you're doing well and um, let me know where you shopped if you did for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. It doesn't have to be planner shops if you bought some cool clothes or perfume or, you know, <laughs> I don't know, a chainsaw, like <laughs> whatever you did. <laughs> um or if you were financially responsible and didn't buy anything, let me know that too, because that's who I want to be. <laughs> I admire you. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is my week. Again, this kit is from Glam Planner, and thank you again for being here and watching. And if you comment, thank you for commenting. Um, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you are a subscriber already, and... I will talk to you guys in the next video. I hope you're having a safe and happy holiday season, and I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye!